kitchens, they were going to be making, using the slow cooker to make uh, pork and beans. Um, so I love doing these recipes for days like this because I had a lot of work yesterday. I want to go out fishing. My girlfriend's working for 12 hours, so I don't really want to do much for cooking. I just want to put it together and come back and have a good meal. And that's where this comes in perfect. Um, first off, you want to soak your beans overnight in water. I've got, I soaked a bag of kidney beans. <coughs> Put it on enough water to cover about a couple inches, let them soak overnight. Drain them, then rinse them, which I did here. And throw those in the pot. The prep work, I already did it, but it takes maybe 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, depends how fast you chop. What I got in here is two big onions, one large, um, uh, sweet potato, you can use normal potatoes, you can use mashed potatoes. A uh, couple stalks of celery, carrot chopped up, about five or six big cloves of garlic, and I believe that's it, if I remember right. And I got it all ready, and I just throw that in. One thing extra I'm going to add is one of these smoked, uh, I cold smoked this uh, pepper. It's, called, it's like a bell pepper, basically, so this is a bell pepper. I don't even know what these are called in English. Paprika. So I'll just cut that up quickly. Throw that in. And finally your ham. Uh, if you have like a smoked ham hock that'll work. What I did is I took a whole pork ham, well, a piece of pork ham, and I cold smoked this yesterday for, oh, I think a good eight hours. Then I uh, put the rub on it, wrapped it in plastic, and that makes that kind of smoke really absorb in and the marinade absorb in. And this is not cooked, it's just cold smoked. Check out my video on how to make a cold smoker. They're easy and they're awesome. I'm gonna probably do another video on those, to be honest, because I use that thing so much. And it smells great already. It's really good, strong smoke flavor. So I'm gonna kinda make some room for this. Throw that in there. Now we just wanna add enough water to cover it. a large serving so about eight cups of water I'm not too concerned about covering the pork all the way because it's a whole piece uh, I'm gonna throw some fresh parsley in there salt and pepper and go easy on the salt if you're uh, using you can use uh, beef stock or chicken stock then go easy, but I'm not going to add any unless I absolutely need it. I'm going to taste it after it's been cooking for about eight hours and see if it needs anything. Make some room for that pork to sit a little lower. What I do is just turn the slow cooker on high at first while I'm getting it ready. Cover it. Now I'm going to turn it down to low because I'm going to let this go all day. If you're in a hurry, you can leave it on high and medium. Better if you Take your time with it, a good eight hours. Made some no need bread dough earlier, so that's gonna go in the oven when I get home. Did a video on that as well, so check my videos or link in the description if it's up by then. And that's it. Work is done, dinner's done. Now I can go fish. It's blowing hard out, wind out. It's not that cold, that wind's gonna make it feel colder. But depending on how cold I get or how much luck I have, I'm not in a rush to get home to be worried that the dinner has to be made or that it's gonna overcook because it's pretty hard to overcook in a slow cooker. The longer the better normally. You know, with that pork pretty much falling apart. So we'll come back in at least eight hours and check this out. And before I forget, I'm gonna throw in some of these dehydrated porcini mushrooms as well. That ought to go nicely with it. Just a little bit for flavor. Now it's done. Well, now it's the work is done. Next is just waiting and eating. So we'll be back in eight hours, whatever. So back after a long day, this is done. It's been, I don't know, nine hours, seven o'clock now. I started it with like 10. So, Just see how that pork is. And yeah, it's like, Easily shredding. And it is good. Time to do 
finish this up, throw the bread in the oven. I'm done. Back to the bread. It's been over eight hours. The dough has risen quite a bit. So all we're gonna do at this point is coat it a bit with flour and make it into a ball. Put it into a Dutch oven. I put some parchment paper under it. I'll take a picture and show you. And cook it for half hour, covered. 15 minutes uncovered at 450 degrees. Okay, so the cold smoked pork ham and the beans are done from the slow cooker. And I just taste it. It's really good. I have to say the sweet potato really adds something to it. I wish I would have actually put more in there. I just put one large one, but that sweet little hint goes so good with it. And the pork just falls apart, just like it should. Some fresh homemade bread that just came out of the oven. I'm putting a video up now of how to make that. It's a really easy recipe. That's awesome. That's all I've been doing the last three days is making this recipe. That's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.